So I'm here to give you a quick demo of the value streams dashboard label search. Um, so here we have an example page with the default view that you would see when you first load the page without any sort of configuration set. Um, a label search for a project, in this case the flight project, um, as well as the group search equivalent, so for the flight JS group, and then the, just an example of a search error that you would see if your labels that you filter by return no results. Um, so I'll get into that more in a sec. So, uh, so for this page in particular, this is the config that we're looking at. So we have the default panel right here, which is just includes the flight JS namespace and that will render the view that you're used to seeing here. Um, and then over here, we have the flight project filter. So uh, we have the namespace, which is flight.js slash flight, and then the labels that we apply for the, the search. So we have Viper and XM, which you see reflected over here. Um, and then you'll notice that the metrics that are returned are actually limited. So uh, whereas this one has deployment frequency, time to restore, change failure rate, this one is restricted to just these, even though we did not explicitly filter those or exclude those within our configuration file here. This is due to the fact that these are the only metrics that currently support label filtering. So um, we automatically restrict it to just those metrics as soon as you apply the label filter. Uh, that is expected, so don't wonder where all your metrics went. Um, except in addition to that, so if we keep scrolling down to the group search here, um, you'll notice that merge request throughput is actually missing from this uh, dashboard. And that is because it still allows you to exclude additional metrics from the results. So in this case, we specifically include merge request throughput, which in addition to all of the other ones being excluded due to the label search being present, uh, we're also excluding the throughput as well. Um, so here you can see there's only two labels. This one has a whole squadron of labels that are being applied to the search. Um, so one thing to note is that here we're filtering specifically on Viper and XM, and we see that reflected here. But here we're just filtering on A, which is a very simple search. So that's the important thing to note is that this is a search. This is not uh, an exact keyword. So you can enter a short, I can switch this to an E and then update that. And then when I reload this page, you're gonna see quite a few different filters applied. So you can see it's already there. So all of these now have an E on them. So it's, it's more of a search, it's not an exact. Um, so you can use it to fuzzy match labels that you want. Um, if you have sub labels, you can occlude them all using uh, just the parent. Uh, and yeah, and then on top of that, uh, so if you enter a search here at the bottom that does not actually return any results, so this this label does not exist, at which point we will try to load the label and with no labels loaded, we will immediately fail and the error will be present. So if you see that, no labels are being found. Uh, and that's all of it, so enjoy.